Hi friends and welcome to the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. I'm Bronco, the PSA 11, and this is the Saturday Shootaround. It's going to be good, it's going to be so bad it's awesome, and as usual, there's going to be some completely ridiculous. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as I talk a little bit about some eBay purchases, a little fun we're going to have with the channel, and I'm even joined by Kyle Seeger, and I'll explain that a little bit later in the video. So first, let's go over some eBay purchases, and we're going to start some fun stuff in 2020 for those of you that are wrestling fans. So I purchased a couple wrestling cards that we're going to send out as TTMs, and the first one here is a WrestleMania 3 card of a very good TTM signer, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. This is a card of his match at WrestleMania 3 against the Macho Man Randy Savage. So, hoping to get this one signed, and this will be sent out fairly soon. Along with this one right here, which is actually a sticker card. And I don't know why I'm putting them all the way on the backdrop. That'll be a lot easier to see if I put it right there for you. This is a sticker of the Dragon, who would go on to be the Intercontinental Champion in the WWE, as well as the World Heavyweight Champion in WCW. And this purchase actually was came, coming from a guy who has the channel called Wrestling With Cards. Um, I think I can probably do it like that so you can see what we're looking at here. And I decided when this came in to take a look at the channel. And if you like wrestling and you're into wrestling cards or some other wrestling nostalgia memorabilia, whatever you want to call it, definitely give this a look. Um, he's got a great, great series on his channel right now of Project 2020 but for wrestling cards that he made up so great stuff if you're into wrestling I highly recommend going and checking out that channel so anyway Ricky the Dragon Steamboat we're going to send some mail to him and try to collect some wrestling autographs during 2021 another purchase that I made is a big stack of cards of one of my favorite pl again why am I putting them way back there one of my favorite pitchers of all time Jack McDowell from the Chicago White Sox, among other teams. And I forget exactly how many cards there are in here, but as you can see, it's a big stack. It's almost all rookie cards. Some of this was for TTM Fuel, because I want to send a few cards out to get signed by him. But also some of these cards are going to end up in future editions of Mystery Mondays, because quite honestly, who needs that many rookie cards of Jack McDowell? So... You can look for those on future editions of Mystery Monday here on the channel, which is the weekly series in which you have a chance to win the giveaway of your choice. Speaking of that, one of the cards that will be in one of the packages this week is a rookie card of Andrew McCutcheon. This 2005 draft pick card of the former Pirate outfielder who's gone on to play for the Giants, the Phillies, and what we're going to do here is if you're coming from Mystery Mondays, you know that he's going to be part of one of the Mystery Prize envelopes. Well, you don't know if you only watch that video, but will because you're watching this one, is that he's going to be in the one with Jack McDowell as the captain. So if you want to win an Andrew McCutcheon rookie card, go on the Mystery Mondays video this week and make sure to say that you want Team Captain Jack McDowell and this will be part of that package. Now let's move on to the So Bad It's Awesome. So as some of you may know, I went out to San Diego for Thanksgiving. And one of the things that came up during my time out there was a conversation with some friends who were talking about the Anaheim, or I always call them Anaheim, even though they've been with the Los Angeles Angels for a long time now. And Mike Trout, obviously the big star, one of the bright stars in the game of baseball, and apparently they had this seating section called the Trout Pond. And one of the things that they did was, to entice people to go to games, was they had this special giveaway hat. And right away on eBay I went and made this purchase of this gloriously ridiculous hat. As you can see, there's a trout coming out of it. It's got a Mike Trout facsimile autograph here on the brim. Certainly his number right there. Angels on the back. And the SmileGeneration.com. I'm not 100% sure what that is. It must be some local thing out in the L.A. area. But anyway, I sent a, immediately when I heard and saw this, I sent a 
text message to Kevin the Diamond King, who's on a lot of the videos here on the Baseball Card Illustrated channel. I'm like, you've got to check this out. And he's like, Brock, that is fantastic. So don't tell anybody he's out of town. Not only did I order that, it's part of his Christmas present. So he's going to love it. And I think it's going to make for a fun video when we get to that in a few weeks here on the channel. But, yep, this Mike, this Mike Trout hat is just fantastic. I think it was about 15 bucks all in and worth every single penny of it that included shipping. So that is the So Bad It's Awesome component of today's video. And then that brings us to Kyle Seeger, and this is where we get ridiculous. So also on that trip out to San Diego, and you can see this 1989 box of Topps cards, we're going to do two things with that. And they're all kind of interrelated to Kyle Seeger here, as I'll explain. So we're doing a holiday low-budget gift fan friend mail exchange. I think I got every possible combination of words in there. So if you want to be part of that, you can still sign up uh, between now and maybe the end of this week, and we can get mail out to you by the holiday. So what we're going to do is I, I found the, this box here. Also, a couple boxes of 1988 tops, and you, the viewers of Baseball Card Illustrated, voted and decided that we should do this. So you'll get, if you want to do this, certainly don't have to, but you'll get a pack of 1989 tops, a pack of 1988 tops, along with some cards of the team that you PC. And, you know, hopefully you'll send us some mail back that we'll open here on the channel sometime during the week, I would assume between Christmas and New Year's, uh, whenever Kevin and I can fit into the schedule because I suspect that'll be a long, interesting, fun video. Um, completely wild, off-the-wall kind of stuff. Kind of like a Mike Trout hat or something like that. You never know what you're going to find here. But the other part of this is going to be something that was inspired by a good friend of the channel, the Flying Dutchman Cards channel. And that's where Kyle Seeger comes into play. Flying Dutchman had a giveaway on his channel a while back, and we were lucky enough to win that. So he's joining us for this video as our co-host and wanted to make sure to get that in there. But what they did on their channel was they have a whole bunch of autographs from this set right here of 1989. They've had a lot of fun throughout the course of this year with that 1989 top set. And now he's got some autographs um, putting together an all-star team of sorts of guys who were all-stars in and around that era. And I want to do the same thing. So in 2021, we're going to be debuting a new series here on the channel called The Bottom Nine. I'll explain a little bit more about that when we get closer to January when it begins. But the ridiculous thing is I had a great idea. A costly idea probably, but, you know, what isn't a great idea if it costs money, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put together 1 through 9, Pitcher being the one, right fielder being the nine, and the other positions all in between. If you've ever scored a game, you know where I'm leading with that. Trying to get as our personal baseball card illustrated all-star team. It's going to be done through private signings, through the mail autographs, if we can find anybody. But it's going to be guys that played in at least one all-star game during their career. And it's going to be cards that come out of these packs that we don't send out as part of the fan holiday mail friend gift mail exchange thing that eventually I'll get the name of down in time for our video at some point in December. But anyway, so that idea really kind of is being stolen by me from Flying Dutchman Cards, so I would definitely highly recommend you checking out that video that they just did where you can check out the autographs that they have, and they've got some really good players from this era and we're going to try to kind of steal and piggyback a little bit off of that idea at some point in 2021 and put together our all-star team from the 1989 top set. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for joining us this morning. On behalf of Ricky the Dragon's Steamboat, Andrew McCutcheon, and a whole deck full of Black Jack McDowells, not to mention the Mike Trout hat, and Kyle Seeger, I'm Bronco, the PSA 11. So long, everybody. You've been watching the Baseball Card Illustrated channel.